Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy, Camarada Zero Spike, back again once again today, people today, we're here for Zenkaiger, episode 37. Now, this was a very weird episode. <laughs> this episode made me laugh a lot. This episode was wacky, funny, it was it was a filler episode. It was all it was random, it was all out of nowhere. Also, we didn't get a roll call in this episode, I just realized that. Um, but yeah, this episode, yeah, it's filler. And it really doesn't, it, I mean, you could kind of, you really can't skip this episode because it still has main plot things going on with it. But at the same time, it is filler. And this, this we're kind of dealing with like another trash-like uh, monster again. His name is uh, Daiko World. We got Trash World, we have Recycle World, and now we got Daiko World where he's like a radish. But at the same time, he has the power to make all of your trash that she threw away come back to you. And it can talk and stuff like that. And this like really, and it, and it can talk. It's like real wacky. And also, uh, the B plot for this episode is uh, Flint and uh, Majin helping this little girl named Yuna. And Yuna has basically thrown away something that she regrets throwing away. It was a little doll that she made, and she was she felt bad about you know how it came out. So she ended up you know before she showed it to her friends, she ended up throwing it away. And she felt really bad about it now, and now she actually wants this little doll to come back to her. The little doll's name is Mimi. So, throughout, so the B plot basically is is Flint and Majin trying to help uh, Yuna get uh, get Mimi back, her little doll. And throughout the episode, we see people's trash like attacking them. Throughout the majority of the majority of the episode, um, Varum is out of commission because he is covered in trash and everything. He's covered in like bags of trash paper all kind of stuff and for a good majority of the episode Varum is just not here so uh throughout the episode we are fighting uh Daiko world he is trying he basically trying to cover the, this weird I don't know what the real plan is with this uh throughout the episode we'll see uh the Zenkai just kind of helping people you know with their trash and stuff like that you see like people are being attacked by stuff that they threw away we see people uh getting attacked by bags and old bottles of ketchup and mustard and all kind of stuff one guy was being chased by his van the guy threw a whole, he threw away a whole freaking van it didn't look like and plus this van didn't look like anything was wrong with it it just was chasing him in the city and that to stop it and yeah and why is chasing it why is chasing him it goes don't junk me i'm not trash i'm like what this is weird this is why it was so random how like people would be people would be attacked by these small inanimate objects, like plastic bags all over your hands and stuff. It was weird, but uh, throughout the episode we see that they're fighting a uh, Daiko world, and they and they keep getting interfered in by keep being stopped by Stacy and um, Hakaiser. So we see that uh, we also see like the little bond that Hakaiser that uh, Stacy has built with Hakaiser. He's actually calling Hakaiser his friend. Which I do like it now that you know Stacy can actually say stuff like, "Oh, this is my friend," and he can say it proudly. And he does say this to Bar Shatara, and he Bar Shatara is like, hey, "Are you getting real acquainted with your puppet?" And he's talking about Kaiser, and then Stacy tells him that Kaiser is not a puppet; he's my friend. And then Bar Shatara is like, "Yeah, you know, uh, since you and Egy since him and Egyptude, him and then him, you know, him and." you and uh him are Egidu's puppets that it, it be is it's cool that y'all actually get along with each other and he laughs at him and i'm just like yeah because he says this to his own son we already know that bar shatar gives no ducks about he gives no ducks about stacy like you know even though you we know if you didn't know stacy is half uh he's half Kikanoid because Bar Shatar is like his Bar Shatar is his dad and he's like Bar Shatara's four hundred something child. And we actually see you know, we see Stacy's mom a lot, you know, his mom's human. And so yeah, it's just weird. He's downing his son, you know, downplaying his son about this stuff. So yeah, so we get to um we get to a point where we're fighting uh Daiko World and he's actually taking he's, he's actually uh, he's a very annoying He's one of the he's one of the annoying Tochi Tendo monsters to take out because this guy is, is ugh. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, Flint and Majin they're actually able to uh, 
use uh, Daiko War's power to their advantage by making him uh, shoot, making him like shoot Mimi, uh, making him shoot Yuna, the little girl, so that her trash or whatever she threw away would come back to her. So they go back to the like the little riverfront uh, where she threw the doll away and all the trash and stuff starts coming to them and then it you know flint and Majin start shooting all the trash and stuff like that and we get a little story about how flint kind of did the same thing when she threw away something that she made it was like a little music box and when she made it she wasn't proud of it because it sounded the music coming out of it sounded very weird and she talked about how zox uh her big brother went and got it out went and found it for her gave it back to her she still has it and yeah, so she still you know she still keeps and still has it. You know, Flint makes stuff, and I guess she she makes stuff and makes a lot of the gears and stuff like that. And that's why she felt bad about because she was like, this is supposed to be perfect, but it's not, so I don't want it. And yeah, so the little doll Mimi actually finds her, starts coming back to her, she's talking and stuff, and it's coming towards Yuna, and then Yuna's like, I'm sorry I threw you away, Mimi. I'm sorry, I'm not embarrassed of you at all. I'm not embarrassed of you and anything like that. Please come back to me. And then this doll, <laughs> this little doll, <laughs> little stuffed doll, little made of, you know, whatever. This doll pulls out a knife. <laughs> this doll pulls out a knife. It's not a real knife. It's not a real knife, but this doll pulls out a little plush knife and you're getting ready to hurt you know with it. And I'm like, what is this episode? What is this? This is so freaking weird. And we see that Majin and Flint end up using uh, Majin's powers to hold back Mimi. Because, you know, I I guess you don't want to hurt her with a plushy knife. I don't... Eh. So, yeah. So, while this is happening, we see the rest of the boys. It's uh, Kaito, uh, Jiron, and Gaon. They're still fighting some Kudex. And they're fighting Hakaiser. And, uh, yeah, fighting Hakaiser and uh, Stacy with uh, two Kaiser. We see two Kaisers fighting Stacy, and we see uh, Kaito's fighting her Kaiser, and we see that Juron, Akai, uh, Juron and Gaon are fighting these uh, Kudex. So, the uh, Sentai gear that we see in this episode is the uh, Mystic Force gear or the Majidanja gear, and they've been using this gear, and they ended up uh, using uh, using the power, and they used up using a power up spell. And earlier we saw we saw that they ended up uh, beating these Kudex, and they were down for the count. But Daiko World end up using his power on uh, Juren and Gaon. And now, basically, since they beat the Kudex, the Kudex are technically their trash now. So the Kudex basically get up all zombie-like, and they start attacking them. So they end up using the Magic Ninja power. Um, Magic Ninja power, they use a power-up power spell, and it turns the Kudex, and it, they use it on the Kudex. And the Kudex get turned into the... They actually get transformed and, turned, and brought back to life and turned into the uh, I forgot what the big buff Kudex are called the bigger stronger armored Kudex they get turned into that and they like oh wait we're back to life thank you guys and now we can die in peace and then they all fade away into light and I'm like what is this episode what it, that was so random I expected them to fight because there's like six of them and I'm like what's that what did it happen like they died in peace. I, it, and it was so weird. It was just so random. I didn't think that would happen, but yeah, they're gone. And then it was even the Di even Daiko World's like, what just happened? I don't. <laughs> even he didn't even know what happened. It was his freaking power that made them come back to life. So we ended up. Oh, I just hit my mic. I'm sorry, but we ended up. Um, while you know, while Stacy's fighting Zox. No dialogue between them, just hands. Um, we see Kaito talking to Hakaiser, and he talks about, like, he keeps calling him dad, and Hakaiser's like, why you keep calling me dad? I'm not your dad. <laughs> and then, yeah. So, he ends up chaining up Hakaiser to a, he ends up chaining up Hakaiser, and then he goes to help Juin and Gaon, and they end up using the Zenkai cannon to take out uh, Daiko World. And while they take out Daiko World, we see Stacy comes in and he actually unchains Hakaiser and they go back through the portal back to uh, Tochi Tendo. Uh, also, we actually saw that um, thanks to Daiko, Daiko World's power, he w his power was so great that it was dragging the Tochi Tendo world to Earth and it was going to slam into Earth. And I was like, what? 
it was a track basically yeah we see the sky we see uh, their palace skytopia in the sky and it's getting ready to like slam into the earth if they don't stop this thing so they end up destroying uh daiko world and while they destroy him um we see that all the trash and everything goes back to normal and we see that uh luna gets her little doll back and they get to you know get her little doll back and then this is when you know Majin goes to help the rest of the crew and Varum. And Varum says, "I'm gonna make up for my um, I'm gonna make up for all my you know make up for being incapacitated. I'm gonna make up for it." He's like, "Yeah." So they end up transforming, and we go we uh go into a uh, full you know Super Zenkaio, and yeah, our full Ultra Zor. We get a full CGI battle and everything, and we actually start fighting a um. What is he? The upgraded Kudai Dest? And yeah, he ends up using the uh, Daiko World gear, turning the whole city, making giant radishes grow everywhere. It was just super weird. And yeah, he ends up. And this was the. We- this is it. This was by far one of the weirdest mech fights I have ever seen. I know that Zenkaiger's mech fights are always super unique. Like, they have very, like, unique fights. Some of them are actually. Some of them. A lot of them were actually pretty freaking cool. Some of them are just really, really weird and wacky, especially like last week's where they did a prank and everything. But this one was, this one was, this one take took the cake. This one took the cake and ate it too, because <laughs> they ended up. Uh, he had like his forehead had like a a, a a cheese grater or whatever on it. He took a giant radish, grated it, and threw like the threw like the remains of it onto uh Super Zenkaio, and they ended up uh. It was like very acidic. So what they did was they ended up using one of the gear. They ended up using a gear, the super secret power surprise gear, and they end up a uh, surprise power. And it was like a Q Ranger. Um, it was a Q Ranger Zord, and it came out. It had like a giant hand. It snapped its finger, and it ended up uh, making a table full of food. And Kaito's grandma was there, a giant grandma, and made all this food. And then all the food and all the food there, and then. So all the radish shavings and stuff got attracted to the food and got put on the food and make the food more delicious. And I was just like, what is this fight? <laughs> What's happening? What is this fight? And after that, they ended up uh, taking him out. And that was it. They ended up taking him out like that. Everything's done. We, uh, Flint, talk, Flint talks to Flint talks to uh, Yuna and... Uh, yeah, Flint talks to Yuna. Her and Majin talk to Yuna. And, you know, they have, you know, everybody comes up, happy ending, stuff like that. They tell their teacher about, like, appreciating the things that you do and stuff like that. And I like that. And then, after that, we see Bokuwas talking with Gigi by themselves. And we haven't seen this a lot. We haven't really seen this a lot. But, and it also let me know how Bokuwas is a lot smarter than we think he is. He's not dumb. And for a while, I really thought that Boku was was kind of like the like kind of like a, a like a like kind of dense, but he's a lot smarter than we think he is. You know, a lot, of, and also a lot of people thought that um, Boku was was being controlled by Gigi, the big uh, his you know, his purple bird. But and also people think that you know Gigi is like the real main villain or will be like the main villain eventually because this bird is up to something. All right, just like how Japan anime said it, this bird. Is I here? This bird is up to something. <laughs> so we ended up seeing uh, him talking to uh, Gigi, and they talked about they were talking about Stacy and um, Hakaiser, and talking about how like if they keep bonding like this, <laughs> if they keep bonding like this, then maybe they'll end up you know becoming uh, stronger in some way, and we can actually use that to our advantage. And that's what I got. That's what I kind of got from it. I don't know. But also early in the episode, we see that Kaito does talk about his mom and talk about how if we go ahead and find mom fast, then maybe it'll maybe it'll help dad like it'll help dad come back faster and easier. And I'm just like, are they still looking for his mom? Because they really haven't talked about that lately. And that whole the you know, the plot point where they're going to multiple dimensions or well, Kaito and Kaito is going with Zox and Flint to multiple dimensions looking for his mother. So that's a plot point that they haven't talked about in a while. And it hasn't really been brought up or anything like that. So I'm glad they haven't forgotten about it, but I'm, I just wish I uh, just, maybe he's still looking for mom, his mom behind the scenes. And we're not seeing that, but 
yeah, I hope that'll work. That should that's something in theory that should work, right? Even though each dude has like kind of upgraded Hakaiser some more to where he doesn't he doesn't run out of power as fast because he hasn't done that I'm running out of energy thing in a while. So yeah. But other than that though, um this is a f next week's episode seems like we're gonna still gonna be kinda wacky but also serious at the same time. Um we're gonna see everybody. We're gonna see some people's ancestors, and it seems like Stacy's mom is back, and she's talking to him. So I don't know what that's gonna be like. Get in some more Stacy stuff, but yeah, I like Stacy. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, this is a great episode. This is a funny, wacky, random AF episode, and classic Zenkaiger. But yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe to this channel, you guys. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already here, if you're already a subscriber, thank you for watching. And if you made it to this, also making it to this point in the video. Um, but not trying to get too sappy, too mushy, stuff like that. But I love doing this. And, you know, YouTube, if you didn't know, like, go watch my other video talking about how I lost my other channel um, out of completely nowhere. It was just so random. Just out of complete nowhere. I just woke up in the morning and my video and my channel was gone. They took down 30 of my videos. But anyway, long story short, I'm not going to talk about it. I'll just, I'll just link that video will be in the rest of it. Not many videos. You'll find it. You, and you'll, know, you'll know by the title what it's about. But yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to this new channel. I love Tokusatsu. I love talking about this, making content and doing this. I love hearing what you guys have to say about these episodes and stuff like that. I love Kamen Rider. I love Super Sentai. Stuff like that. And I love this stuff. And I love it more than anime, actually. If I'm being real. But, yeah. So, but you guys, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point of the video, also thank you. Hit that like button. Share. Subscribe. You won't be disappointed. I promise. I'll see you guys next time. And stay henshined.